Hi. Welcome to Love and Forever Evolving, where we are always and forever evolving. Hello, my loves. Welcome back, Libras. Welcome to your love reading. I hope all has been well, Libras. Hope you've been taking care of yourselves, right? Eating plenty of fruit and vegetables and taking care of that beautiful, sexy ass temple of yours, Libras, as it take care of you, my loves. Welcome back. Come on in. Have a seat, loves. Get comfortable. We're going to check back in here. It's been about, what, two days, right? So we're going to come back in, get a general energy check-in for a collective of all placements of Libra, all right? And then definitely stick around. I'm going to use a tarot deck to tap into your love life, okay? And see what's coming towards you in the month of October when it comes to love. And what are the potential outcomes for you? And then definitely stick around. We're going to get some word advice as we close out your reading here today from your guardian angels and your ancestors here, okay? So the readings here today may resonate for sun, moon, rising, Venus, north, and south node, Libras, all right? And shout out to the evolving spirits. Welcome back, my love. Shout out to the soul tribe members, gang, gang. I love you all so much. And thank you for your continuous love and support, Libras. I appreciate you all, okay? Definitely, if you're new here, the week of the color is brown this week. Here, have we been focusing in? Definitely keep up with the community tab. I do post weekly the new color of the week, and there's daily enlightenment there as well, okay? If you definitely are always noticing and seeing synchronicities, I do post those as well. I see synchronicities and numbers and colors and music all the time, okay? So whatever resonates with you while you're on this journey, crossing over through this channel or platform welcome here again it definitely was an accident so this definitely tells me that you are definitely loving yourself and yes you are evolving all right so congratulations libras okay shout out to the libra gang 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 all right so let's get on into your general reading spread here and then we'll move forward with your love life so the first card that wanted to make its appearance here is wow we have is the main male here libras okay so for some y'all there is a main male here that's involved right if i'm speaking with the feminine energy here or masculine energy here yes two 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 which is we know that two represents balance the masculine and the feminine energy here okay some y'all may be seeing the number two a lot here it was kind of ironic or crazy because the last reading i did which was um that was aquarius reading here some y'all may be dating a aquarius or you may be in a relationship or rectifying a situation with aquarius or you you could have Aquarius placements in your chart highly here, Libra. But the reading crazy, what is crazy here in regards to Aquarius, that number was showing up in their reading as well a lot. And it even shown when I was uh, doing the reading that on the clock is so two, 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 two as well. And now I'm seeing the same numbers for you. So that may be very significant. The number two, you might be seeing the number two a lot. Okay. Definitely when you're following the community tab there, I always post the numbers that I see to, you know, cause some of y'all that may reflect off you. If you seen what I seen, you know, you're a reflection of me, right? You are the same frequency and vibration I'm on. Okay. For you to even gravitate or be coming across this channel. Right. So this could be very very significant for you and you're coming in at this time where the color is brown okay noticing the colors and the times when you came in or being introduced to this channel also has a reason for that as well because of where you're currently at on your frequency and vibration definitely when it comes to your own love life your own spiritual path and journey okay so to that I digress to say that Libras, there is a main male or main female here that is wanting to make a statement here or communicate with you or that is involved here, okay, on a collective level here, okay, that looks like here is choosing a new direction here, okay. There is a male figure here, okay, this could be the father of your child here, Libras. This could be your masculine partner here, okay, or again, this could be your feminine partner here or the mother of your child here or this could be you okay Libras that is stepping into your masculine energy right we have masculine and feminine energy within us right everything needs a balance right okay all right it's funny how I say that I'm definitely speaking with the scale masters here okay you better fucking believe it that's right Libras okay all right but however 
the masculine energy here is choosing to take a path here that they know within is following their spirit, their soul, their higher selves, okay? Because we have 35 that breaks down to the number eight. We know the number eight represents infinite, abundant. So this is something part of their spiritual path and journey that's always been within them to go down this path, okay? I feel like this masculine energy here uh, is no longer, um, you know, blind or um in denial of the fact that where they gotta go which way they gotta go and what path particularly that is okay so let's see here we have marriage here yeah this particular person here it looks like this masculine energy here or again this feminine energy here as i mentioned it was choosing to go down the path that's going to make them happy and so much in a situation where it's going to make them happy when it comes to their love life when it makes them happy when it comes to their family when it makes them happy when it comes to who they want to be in a marriage here or a commitment or a connection or relationship partnership however with okay but this is someone who has made that decision here on their own with the number one here to choose to go down this path that's going to lead them into a partnership or a level of commitment with someone who they would love to share this lifetime with that's what i get just out of that general spread there okay wow beautiful definitely if that resonated so far for you libras okay don't forget to again hit that big fat thumbs up show spirit some love okay definitely again if you're new here welcome what are you don't no longer do you wait go ahead on and subscribe my loves be a part of family because yes this is what we do we love and we evolve here okay each and every day on this platform all right so let's see here now we're going to move forward and see what's coming towards you in the month of october for love libras okay let's see what's coming towards my beautiful librans in regards to love what do we have for libras for love placements here in the month of October and definitely if you're new here check out the wake and tarot that I do in the rising okay set your notification bells for that because I just actually previously done a all zodiac sign reading for love predictions for the month of October so you can also check that out I just done that i believe yes it it'll be two days ago once you receive this video here as you are watching it or listening in on it now so that was two days ago when i did the reading for love predictions for the month of october you can go check that out look at us already i'm talking in the future yay i digress but maybe not for you but for me right now it's kind of dope all right moving forward but Yes, that is available to you as well. So definitely adjust your notification bells, okay? So that way you can be able to get those notifications for when I go live in the rising uh, Monday through Friday for Wake and Tarot daily all zodiac sign check-in readings, okay? So let's see what's coming towards you in regards to love, all right? What's coming towards my Libra placements for love? Let's see here, Libras. Ooh, we have the King of Wands here. A fire sign looks like they're coming in here. Again, that's more of that masculine energy here, Libras, okay? This is someone here, again, they could be a fire sign, a Sagittarius, a Leo here, particularly here, or an Aries, okay? But this is someone that has passions towards you, towards this relationship here for who this is resonating here for, and they're ready to take action. They're ready to go down this path here, right, that uh, we mentioned about out here that's come out for you okay this masculine energy here right and that's the pathway that they're choosing this is someone that maybe once before even if this is someone that you've known or someone that you engaged here with in the past that is now an ex here okay because a lot of that mercury retrograde energy it was coming up and it's needed to there's a lot of cycles that still need to be closed out and that's what mercury retrograde gives us that opportunity to do i always look at retrograde energies opportunities to you know evolve heal and grow from different choices or be gaining also getting opportunities okay you get opportunities in 
uh, the retrograde energies as well. It's not always negative things or events happening in regards to communication with exes or receiving opportunities in regards to gifts or, you know, technology gifts as well because Mercury rules technology and communication. So a lot of great opportunities happen and occur in Mercury retrograde as well, okay? But however, I digress here in regards to this particular you know, person that again here, this masculine energy that is taking actions is what's bringing me around to reminding me of Mercury retrograde. Even through this time, this person is taking the actions, wanting to communicate, wanting to hold themselves accountable here and choose the right path. Okay. That's leading them to the light here, to their higher selves. Okay. To their sole purpose here. And being able to go about this with who is more in that divine, you know, evolvement, okay? Because there's levels to this shit. So I'm being careful how I say and choose my words here, Libras, simply because, you know, for one, people can take things the wrong way. For two, we all on different timelines. So I want to make sure that you all are understanding this from a collective level because some of you all may are still in the energy or a timeline that, you know, you're still healing. You're still understanding when making these type of choices and now always seeing the repetitive results. OK, some of you all, you now understand the choices that you've made in the results. Rather, this is you, Libra or this person. And for some of you, I feel it's more of this masculine person here, this person that could have been, uh, you know, your uh, ex husband here your ex-spouse okay or your ex-wife or your you know your ex-girlfriend you know i don't know i wasn't a fly on the wall but whoever this person was they are now communicating okay going to be doing a lot of communication with you okay taking a lot of actions that you're actually going to see rather than this person just talking about it yeah we got the queen of cups here this is because they love you okay they want to be with you here and not only that of course they want to you you know, have a long-term life with you by a marriage here, okay? Some of y'all, this person could be a water sign here. Libras, this could be a Scorpio here that is taking action and coming towards you here, okay? Others of you are, this could be a Pisces or a Cancer or a water sign here, okay? Let's see what else here. We have the Page of Swords here, Libras. That's your energy, okay? That's air element there. That could be a Aquarius, a Gemini here at Libras or a Libra like yourself, uh, there is definitely energy here that is watching you as well. So this person may have been watching you through social media or, you know, just through mutual friends that they know that you may have went around, hung around and, you know, they may see or posting on their social media website. So they may look at or watch the pictures. OK, but this is someone who loves you, miss you, someone that you engaged you in the past with. OK, and others of you all, this is someone new. OK, I feel as well that has been watching you for quite some time and they've been wanting to actually finally now take the action to come towards you because of the way how they feel towards you. OK, they have these emotions about you that just because of who you are, I feel like this person has fallen in love with just your personality and your characteristics and just who you are as a person here. OK, uh, Libra. So that is very significant as well. OK, wow, Libra's beautiful spread there. Again, definitely if the reading here so far has resonated with your spirit and your higher selves, Libras, don't forget to hit that big fat thumbs up. All right. Subscribe if you're new here and definitely click that join link down below. All right. I do have a private community where we do uh, discuss more of energies and readings like this there where i do post daily content i do daily tarot spreads okay and also weekly readings and just information informative information in regards to spiritual path and spiritual journeys that we are all on and what it means and what are the symptoms and things of that sort so we definitely have a good time over there as well if that's something that you're interested in libras click that join link down below and join family loves all right join the soul tribe so let's see what words now we got from the moonology deck here libras for you in regards to messages from your guardian angels and your 
higher self as we close out here. Okay, we have first card here that came out as well. I love the artwork on this card. Beautiful color here as well. Okay, the color blue may be very significant for some of you all Libras. Okay, but we have believe in the impossible here. And also the season here. This is winter season, which is coming up here. Okay, for some of us here, depending on where you're at. Okay. All right, but however here, this is something that your guardian angels and your ancestors here, I feel Libras, want you to continue to have the faith and never give up and always believe and know that anything is, in, you know, anything is possible, right? You are the creator of your universe, of your spirit, of your soul, of your higher self, Libras, okay? And when you can do whatever you want to do, you can do it because it's something that you will manifest for yourself. So know that whatever this is in regards to this partnership, this relationship, this career, this opportunity, this is what your passion, your goal, your dreams to do, know that won't nobody be able to do it if you don't do it, Libras. It's yours. It's your gift. It's your goal. It's your passion. So if it don't get done, well, it just don't get done because it was yours. Well, nobody else know how to do it just like you do it anyway, right? So when you think about it in that way, don't it, don't let anyone miss out on that because that's a gift that's within you. And how would you know unless you bring it out and manifest it, okay? So believe in the impossible here in regards to however this is resonating for you, okay? And then, wow, yes, the last card here we have is confidence is your key to success here, Libras, okay? Know that whatever this is, it just sounds like you need that prep talk, right? We always so often need that motivation or speaker or that great motivation speaker that you need to, you know, that I find myself listening to the first thing when I get up and rising and start my day. It's always good to have that positive mindset and be in that because, you know, once you start out, the first thing that that's what you hear when you rise, you know, that how your whole day can go out and play out for you. So I feel like some of y'all that could be a great you know, um, you know, resource or tool that you can add to your daily routine with getting some type of, you know, motivation or music that motivates you, something that motivates you as you're getting ready to start your day, okay, that'd be great for you as well. And that'll definitely boost your confidence here in regards to whatever this situation is here. I definitely see an opportunity or, you know, that's going to be open here for you, but you have to be in that energy to be open and willing to receive, okay, Libras, okay? It has confidence is your key to success. Nothing else, nothing more, okay? You have everything else. You have all the resources and the tools in the back, honey, okay? Just walk up in there and know that you got this. Okay, we have new moon and Leo. All right, some of y'all this could be in regards to a Leo, or you're needing to get into that Leo energy. Okay, all the other elements is here to help us utilize that energy during that time for whatever we're manifesting and find out where Leo energy is in your chart. Okay, this could be the time that you are resonating with Leo energy or checking out Leo readings because this may be a place where it is now in your chart, Libras. Okay, so it's going to be different for everyone. All right, but wow, beautiful spread here today Libras again I hope the reading resonated for those beautiful souls of yours and if so Libras don't forget to hit that big fat thumbs up show spirit some love if you enjoyed the reading share the video my love subscribe be a part of family and definitely come and join us on Saturday night lives my loves I do go live every Saturday night in regards to love live stream questions as well all right if you have a question that you would love to ask in regards to the reading today or just something you had in mind that you want to get some clarity in regards to you you can email me in regards to the question all the details is down below all right and you can screenshot me your payment provide me your question and i will provide you a number so that way libras you can remain anonymous for your question as well when you come and hang us and join us on saturday night and hang out while we pull the tarot cards so that way you will remain anonymous and that protects because there are crazy scammers out here right and so i feel like that's a great way to set you know uh as far as you know the virtual world up right because a lot is going on in the virtual world and i want to make sure that you know at least privacy still does exist for us, okay? All right, so Libras, again, thank you so much for your continuous love and support. Shout out to the Evolving Spirit. Shout out to the Soul Tribe members. Gang, gang. 
all right i love you all as well all right without a doubt so thank you so much guys i hope the reading here helped you guys stay healthy enjoy the color brown this week all right follow the community tab for more insight more inspirations more love okay and until we meet again my loves stay healthy be safe out there i love you libras Mwah. Bye-bye.